YouTube people. Hi. Hi. Anyway, so <laughs> this is me, and I don't know if anyone actually watches my channel or knows, but I'm going to college in 12 days, and I'm really excited. So I just thought to add to the multitude of videos that are already on YouTube about this, I would just make a college haul video. Because you never know who you could be helping. Oh, and this is my sister. She's Hi. not going to college, but she will be in three years. So hopefully this will help her. Because I watch videos like this on YouTube all the time, and a lot of them have actually really helped me try to figure out what to bring. So I thought I'd help a person and make a video. I don't even know where to start. I guess we'll start with the first thing that's not here, my fridge. Because a lot of schools come with your mini fridge, but be sure to check if yours does or not, because mine doesn't. So I had to buy one and we're gonna split the cost with my roommate. Oh, there's a ton of stuff you're gonna need for college. This is the may or may not need. This is my contact, contact solution. solution. Both of us are contacts, and this is the kind we use. It's hard knowing how much of stuff to bring to college because that's the one thing about college is there's not a lot of space to store things. So you don't wanna bring like a year's worth of contact solution because there's not gonna really be much space to store it. But luckily I'm going to school close to home, not gonna say where, cause the creepers, you never know. So it's nice that I can always go home and get anything that I need to, or I can take um, like a, a shuttle or a bus or find a friend with a car and go somewhere that way. Like, These are spoons. Like, keep, it, keep it precise. Okay, do that over. These are spoons for food. A lot of times- Like soup? Your meal plan a lot of times doesn't cover every meal, so be sure to have spoons and cutlery and stuff for meals that you can eat in your dorm. And if you just want a snack, like some macaroni or something, or just like cleaning supplies. I'll do the next. Because things get dirty, this is OxyClean and a bunch of laundry, dish laundry detergent. This is good for 74 loads, so that'll last me, that'll last me the whole year. Definitely. Because okay. a lot of times college students do laundry once a week or when your underwear runs out because it is not cheap to do laundry. So you're going to need body wash obviously if you're gonna take showers in college, but if you're gonna be really gross and decide not to shower in college, that's okay too. Yeah, so in here is just like- Most people shower. Shampoo, conditioner, shaving cream, all yeah. the stuff you need at home, but you just need your own stuff. Your shaving parents cream, can't buy it for you anymore. Oh, oh and um, conditioner. here's some flashlights here. I'm gonna keep one in my room, this one, and I'm gonna keep this one on my backpack because my mom thinks I'm gonna get attacked. So, and it has like a little flashing light at the bottom of it. Just in case for, you get a cat. protection, I don't know. But a lot of schools also have emergency services, like the blue light poles. And they also have like call services. So if you're walking if you're walking home from a class late at night, you can call someone and they'll come pick you up so you don't have to walk alone in the dark to a uh, far distance. So these are just stuff. some games that I'm bringing from home. You know, gotta stay entertained on the weekends. Just kinda do it, gosh. As best as you can. Okay. I'll be crawling back. Before we all the stuff in Target bags, you can get everything in Target. It's basically just <laughs> hygiene stuff like cotton balls, makeup remover, hair stuff, deodorant, um, Advil. Be sure to have some Advil. Tissues. Bring a few boxes of tissues if you like need to blow your nose and stuff like a human being. Um, garbage bags to put in your garbage can. Sponges to clean stuff, just like a little pack of them. Paper towels to wipe up stuff. And a, um, a keep safe, like, security box to keep important stuff in, you know, maybe like, like on here it shows money, yeah. passport, yeah, money, for me, keys. For me, I'm planning to keep, like, my checks in, in there. Oh, so clean. <laughs> so this stuff, oh, oh, this is gonna take explaining. Hold up on the next one. Okay, so this is just fun stuff, sort of. This is um, a flash drive. I went to Costco and got some pictures printed out. I bought some picture frames, and my sister and I decorated them. These are two, and um, I have another one upstairs. This is a coaxial cable for your TV to plug it into the wall. Our school gives you free cable. I need this one. So, then this is an ethernet cable. Our, my school has Wi-Fi, but you're still advised to bring it anyways. These, this twine and clothespins, I'm gonna use this for a project. I'm going to hang the twine from a piece of hooks above my bed and clothespin photos, just to make it feel more homey, remind me of my friends that I'm leaving behind. 
and my sister. Um, hangers to hang your clothes on, obviously. Oh, and if you want a good snack, you know, for like lunch or whatever, if you don't feel like sticking to me, plan. Buy some nice ramen. This is really cheap. I got this at Big Lots. <laughs> what? She said, ow. I know, I'm hurting. Okay, so this was 75 cents. I know this is really unhealthy and my mom really doesn't like me eating this stuff because mm, of all the MSG. sodium. This is $1. And you really, you really shouldn't oh. eat badly, but it's good for every you once in a while. You've got to eat some ramen. And college. Part, part of your college fees that you pay for is the rec center usually, so if it's there, you might as well take use of it if you're going to be eating okay. it. Now this is, Just well, the container is, um, it's going to be my shower It's going to be a shower caddy and a lovely piece of hair. Yeah. And these shoes. Definitely have shower shoes because you don't know how many people have stepped in that bathroom and it's probably pretty gross on the floors and you don't want to get athlete's foot or something okay. fungus. Now so we'll, wear shower we'll shoes. We'll start picking this apart now. Um, a laptop table lock so it doesn't get stolen. Let's just like zoom through it. Okay. Um, those are like, and these are like adhesive things so you can hit posters and stuff to the wall because a lot of times you can't pin things to the wall anymore. There's some more um, of those. Just other school supplies. Post-it notes. Post-it notes. Thumbtacks. Dry um, erase, dry erase, eraser, pencil, pencil cases, cases, calculator, calculator and calculator holder, little oh I love these things, little uh, wallet thingy, the, uh, planners, dry erase markers. Some erase of this stuff you might want to take out. This is book lights for if your roommate wants to go to bed. Oh, that was from high school. Now, um, pens, highlighters, white out clips. Subway gift card, writing stuff, sticky notes, oh, shoot. paper clip, stapler, um, is that a coaster? Coaster, pencils, more highlighters, um, a hair clip, which is in there for some reason, pencils, Oh, wait, I already said white out. Right, like, so that's school supplies. School supplies. I haven't gotten paper or notebooks or anything yet because I don't have supply lists for my classes yet. So usually they have all those supplies in the university bookstore so you can just get it down there. Especially if you are going to a school far away, it's a hassle to bring all that stuff on a plane or in your car. So save your space and get it down there. Either get it at the book center or just get it at a nearby Target or something, especially if you're going to school in like a city or something, they'll have targets everywhere. More hangers! So just, this is a towel, pretty straightforward. I have three, and you're going to have to wash them eventually, so I got a good amount. These are just more adhesive products, since you can't pin anything to your wall. So I hope I got enough. I'll probably need some more. But these are just small hooks, big hooks for posters, pictures different things. Start with this. This is something I made. Kind of stinks. Well, you didn't really make it. It was a pencil like case. We found it at Target on clearance and I thought it was cute. It's like a lantern or something. You put a candle in it. It's going to be a pencil holder. I painted holder. it and it's going to be my pencil holder. So it just goes to show you can find a lot of things well, on you sale. Like stick this in here. Sure. To try. A lot of things on sale that aren't what they're supposed to be, but you can kind of make it Turn your own. them into others. Yeah, exactly. When you get to school, you're going to have the... Be creative. Kids. Yeah, you're going to have the cinder block walls and stuff and it's not going to feel very at home. So anything you can do to make it yeah, more you... Yeah, spice it up a little bit. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I want to show just something. like a on the go mug. Yes. I'll show the next few things. Oh, this is a lunchbox if you're gonna have like a picnic of some sort. Like if you decide. A picnic? I don't know. Can I picnic some college if you want to? These lunchboxes are cool. These are containers. I'm gonna use them for under the bed storage. Ooh, they're soft. Yeah, they are soft. You are gonna need to store. Oh, there's more stuff inside. A lot of things. What the heck is that? And, happen? um,. So you better get some containers and stuff. I should put, do you want me to put this in a little bit? No, I'll just put it in here. This oh. is just like sticky notes for my desk. If you're wondering why there's a lot of blue and green stuff, it's because that are those are our colors, blue, green, and purple, and my roommate. And this is like an over my the door. My roommate and me. I think. And these are like over the door hangers. I have one in my closet at home for purses and stuff, and I use it a lot. Yes. Um, these like snackable crates, I'm gonna put them in my closet. Because like I said, you're going to have a lot of stuff to store and instead of just plopping it somewhere, you need to organize because there's not much room in the college dorm room and space, you need to maximize your space by building up instead of out. Okay, it's my turn. Okay, um, 
This is a pillow for sleeping. Durr. We have a dry erase board with some magnets. Lots um, of a closet organizer. organizer to put clothes, stuff. shoes, random stuff in. Um, a power strip. Might want to have one of these. Uh, bed list to put under your bed so you can store yes, stuff under. Definitely have those because a lot of times your beds are going to be pretty low down to the ground and to maximize storage space, put it under your bed. Light bulbs, you're kind of going to need those unless you want to start uh, A lamp, bed, sheets. It's good to have two sets of sheets. It'll make laundry easier. Sheets from Target, I think. Get you get everything at Target. Like, Target and Target Bed Bath and Beyond are like the majority. Bed Bath and Beyond's gonna be a little more pricey. Walmart works too for some stuff. Um, a digital alarm clock, a loofah, and a, a trash a, can. Like a small trash can. Here's some like mini buckets you can put stuff in. Great mattress. Um, the mattresses. They're sort of comfortable, but not really. At least at my school, they're just like a sack of air. So you definitely want a mattress topper to make your sleep a little more comfortable. You did? Yeah. I have this big sheet set from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's a reversible comforter. This is one side of it, and if you can see, the other side is pictured on the picture. Um, but I really like it because it's an eight-piece sheet set. Let me see what it has in here. It came with a reversible comforter, one sham cover, two towels, one sheet set, and the big thing it came in is a storage thingy for under your bed. So it was $80 and I had a coupon, so I got like $20 off, so that was nice. Um, yeah, so that's basically everything. We went through that pretty fast. Polish. But yeah, I'll definitely do a before and after, hopefully, video, and I'd like to think I'd keep making videos throughout the year about just helpful hints and stuff. You know, people always make those videos like things I wish I knew before college. So hopefully this has kind of helped and provided some entertainment. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back another day. Okay, bye!